Uh, certainly that's the interpretation that the uh, opposition are putting on it at the moment. They're saying that Assad should be held accountable for all the crimes that have been committed and very much they see this as a delaying tactic and a tactic that can be played out to absolutely to their disadvantage, uh, sort of cementing Assad in his position of authority uh, as they seek to topple him. We've heard from the Syrian foreign minister saying that the country will not only reveal its stockpiles of weapons but will actually sign up to the international treaty banning those weapons the uh, Chemical Weapons Convention. I am authorized to reiterate our support for Russia's initiative regarding the Syrian chemical weapons in compliance with the Organization for the Prohibition of Chemical Weapons and to reaffirm Syria's willingness to fully cooperate in implementing this initiative. But just to give some uh, idea of, of, of where Syria stands in, all, in the number of nations that have signed up to that convention, they would become the 199th country to sign up, i.e. one of the last. Um, it generally takes, even for a nation like the United States, Great Britain, Germany, about four years from signing to getting a clean bill of health. For <coughs> Afghanistan, it took 10 years. For the Democratic Republic of Congo, it took 12 years. About 98%, 98% of the world population is covered by uh, this chemical weapons convention so Syria really is coming to it late but the notion that in the middle of war that inspectors could go in and perform the necessary tasks to uh, to allow Syria to be fully signed up to chemical weapons convention even in countries under minor conflict it takes 12 years so the, the, the whole play out of this is huge and long Certainly the recognition in the region here that, that President Obama's decision to delay the vote uh, eases tensions right now, but nobody here um, is under any illusion that the main problems and the fighting and the killing in Syria still exist.